This is like six inches of rainfall within the last three hours. Tornado! I'm out of here. We're seeing things happen and change that are clearly unprecedented in many millennia. And we have a good understanding of why. It's because of what we've been doing to the atmosphere. It's because of the burning of fossil fuels and the increases in greenhouse gases. Everybody wants to say, yeah, what about the orbit? What about the sun? What about, and each one does have a part, just none so much or so closely paralleled with the increase in temperature as greenhouse gas emission. We have no shortage of ideas for why climate might change. And over four billion years of Earth's history, the climate has changed for all of those reasons. And it turns out that the biggest thing is carbon dioxide and the other greenhouse gases. Here goes. Here goes half of the roof. Here goes oh, there's the oh, there's the I recently covered Ida, and I was in New Jersey by a washed-out bridge. Ginger is live in Demarest, New Jersey. Cecilia, we would have had a storm without human-induced climate change. Of course, we've had storms forever. But behind me, you see that road with the double yellow, the collapsed bridge. There were cars inside of it. You ask, how much have we amplified these storms? I related it to amplification by human-induced climate change. Now, scientists have called it global warming since the late 1800s. I mean, our understanding of if we add carbon dioxide to the atmosphere, the planet will warm, mm -hmm. dates to the 19th century. Right. Yeah. Details have been filled in, the calculations have been improved, everything's much more sophisticated. But that, that answer that they knew in the, 19, in the 1800s um, is still true now. There's not one part of us that's saying fires, floods, tornadoes, hurricanes are the result of climate change, that they are amplified by climate change. Yeah, it's a really fascinating topic. We can see things happening in the global average, right? So, so we've been able to see the global mean changes decade by decade have been getting warmer mm -hmm. very, very clearly. Unequivocal warming of the planet. But for a long time, people said, well, that's not really going to impact the weather. It's not really going to impact the the storms because there's so much noise, right? Mm -hmm. There's so much there's so much chaos and like yeah. there's so much randomness. We're not going to be able to detect that. But the fact of the matter is, is that we can now detect the changes that the global mean change is having. Global warming is having is actually having on specific weather events. Of course, heat waves. Heat waves are becoming more frequent and greater in magnitude than they were before, right? So take me to the background and tell me what does the future of storms look like? What does the future of drought look like? We're seeing more intense and longer lasting heat waves. We're seeing more intense rainfall. So when it is raining, it's raining stronger. Mm -hmm. We're seeing more category three, four, five hurricanes in the Atlantic that seems to be driven by the, the overall warming of the main development region, the tropical Atlantic. We're seeing that when there is drought, the droughts are more intense because there's more of an evaporative demand. So the soil is drying out faster given the same amount of rainfall change. How do we make people care that don't have a sea level rising, that don't, how does this connect to people? We have to talk to people where they are, what their, what their issues are. You know, I mean, sea level is a much, much bigger deal in Florida, mm. in Newport and in Chesapeake Bay and in Louisiana mm -hmm. than it is in Nevada, obviously, sure. right? And so things that are happening in the Arctic, the connection there to, to <laughs> sea level is very, very real. You don't need to play games to explain that what happens mm -hmm. a long, long way away is making a difference right here and now. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.